In today's tech video, we are going to do a side-by-side -side video comparison of the Canon M50 and the Canon G7X to maybe help you decide on which camera is better for you. That's today's tech video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're doing the side-by-side -side video comparison of two of the most popular cameras that Canon has in their lineup, the mirrorless Canon M50 and the Canon G7X, which is kind of dubbed the perfect vlogging camera. Uh, so I have both cameras and I got them set up both on a tripod, um, pretty close together to give you guys the best possible footage of uh, a comparison in the same setting and everything. Right now what you're hearing and seeing is the Canon M50 and I'm in a uh, my YouTube studio that's also an office. It's about probably a six foot by ten foot build, uh, wide uh, room and I'm not using any type of external audio right now. What you're hearing is what's coming directly into the onboard mic on the Canon M50. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Canon G7X. All right, so now we're on the Canon G7X. Um, you know, how's it look? Is the coloring better? Um, and right now what I did is I just turned on the camera so it's whatever comes on as far as the default when it comes to the zoom. Um, there's no you know, onboard external microphones. You can't do that with a G7, G7X anyways. Uh, so what you're hearing is directly what's coming right into the camera. And this is a, a YouTube space here. So let's go ahead and move to a different environment and compare these two cameras and see how well they do um, with maybe a bigger space or maybe even outside. Let's do that now. Okay, next up we are in a sanctuary right now. We're in a church sanctuary where I'm a youth pastor at. And uh, we're recording right here. This is the Canon M50. Um, just a regular kit lens on this thing. Also, I'm not. I didn't have any kind of fancy, uh, you know, nifty 50 lens or anything like that. This is the 15 by 45 millimeter lens. This over here. This is the Canon G7X, and this is how well it does in a bigger space that has some pretty good sound absorbent acoustics. So I'm going to be interested to see how well these do on the sound, and I'm picking up. Um, in any type of voice or anything like that without any kind of external microphone. Okay, so now we are outside. I do have like a little bit of a canopy over me that's keeping me out of the hot sun. But this is what it's like recording outside environment. There is a road over here on this side of me uh, with traffic going by and a semi truck just went by there. So hopefully it's picking up some pretty good sound here and hopefully it looks good. We got the Canon M50 over here on this side of me and then we got the Canon G7X over here on this side. This is outside shooting. Okay, let's go ahead and take it indoors again in a more well-lit area and see how well they perform in somewhat of an echoey environment. Okay, this next video and sound test, we are in a foyer. You can hear that real terrible sound, that echoey sound. Um, but I do have a big window here in front of me, uh, three sets of doors that bring in some, a lot of natural light in a foyer type setting. Uh, this is what it sounds like with the Canon M50. Let's jump over to the Canon G7X here. And this is what it sounds and looks like with a Canon G7X. Now the one thing that I have noticed with recording with the G7X is that the coloring on it is very vibrant compared to some of the other cameras. So for a good vlogging camera, recording in a, any type of situation, I have found that it does pretty well with the coloring and the uh, Stabilization isn't too bad for a small uh, pocket shoot camera and then also uh, the shadow depth of field creating that blurry background. Uh, so yeah, I think both cameras are really good uh, as far as um, video and sound go. Let's go ahead and take it to one more area and do another video comparison. Okay, so for this last video test, what we are going to do is we're gonna do a walking, uh, run and gun type of shoot to see how well they perform with the stabilization. And if you were just to like maybe hold it like this, and if you're like you're shooting a vlog or something, how well it does holding the camera steady. And right now we're just walking, Canon M50, Canon G7X. There is a little bit of a wiggle on the Canon G7X. Uh, I didn't quite, uh, tie up to the or tighten onto the mount as well as the M50 did But this is basically what it would be like if you're doing a walking run and gun type of shoot 
looking into the camera, talking into the camera, and just walking. So yeah, and tell me how it does, you know, what do you guys think in the comments down below? And let me go ahead and flip on these lights. Okay, get it positioned steady. All right, so yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. Which one's better? Is it the Canon M50, the Canon G7X? Which one are you guys going to buy? I'm really interested to see uh, what people will say with these two cameras. They're both great cameras. I think you can't go wrong with either one of them. But yeah, um, let me know which one you're going to get. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. And I'd love to have you back on the next one. Until then, get out there guys and be creative.